guys welcome back we are at today we're at the fort hill cemetery and right here it tells you that there were 250 citizens of frankfurt uh, they were forgotten in the 19th century at the base of fort hill in 2002 so they have placed them here in this opening if you come over here and look it tells you a little bit about it this is our, the reigns of 250 people are here. They had, uh, the old cemetery was downtown, down over the hill there. And when they started doing their um, research and stuff, they decided to move them here because they built buildings and stuff down there to replace it. This is over time, the old grades left behind were forgotten. Buildings were erected over some of them. And it says that uh, they, at, uh, once this study was complete, the remains were placed here. The identities of the people buried here are not known. Many of them were African Americans. However, a few may have been inmates at the Kentucky uh, Penitentiary, which was in the early 1800s, stood near the old cemetery. So, now what they're saying is, is at one time after town flooded and mm -hmm. they shut the prison down down there right the old cemetery was down there in that part well yeah where the parking lot and all that area is right and um, what they started doing is when they started excavating and building i think the one building they're talking about there is the transportation cabinet yeah. Yeah. this was in 2002 archaeologists then carefully removed the bones and a scientific study of the burials were conducted at University of Kentucky. Now, guys, we all know how government is. We all know how progress is. Mm -hmm. Now, they can say they removed all the graves if they want. Um, this is sad. You can say I got a whole head full of hair if you want to, but I don't. So, uh, either way, the people's dead. But they brought at least 250 of them here, they say, yeah. in this little corral here. 200 feet well it's just their bones just their just their bones remains but 250 people were um, entombed here right. that they that they excavated and dug up right now they're saying that they even had some from the uh, Kentucky State Penitentiary which was where we was at earlier yep. a few may have been inmates from the Kentucky Penitentiary so you know uh, I seen one thing on the internet, or Sheila did, where it said Wall Hatfield was buried here. Well, yeah. very well could be, yeah. according to that plaque. Yeah. Very well could be his resting place when he was uh, digging up, but I kind of doubt it. It would be nice if they could figure out where he was at and put up a historical marker. Well, the story was always that they went ahead and paved everything over down there mm -hmm. uh, before they started excavating for the... Uh, the oh. big uh, transportation cabinet. Okay. So that parking lot was already paved over. So any graves that was in there, in the prison parking lot, oh. that's why I think it's saying may, may have, been, have yeah. been inmates. They don't want to say that there were inmates because uh, the, according to the research... Since many of them uh, were African American. Yeah, and, but let's go back to this. A few may have been inmates. They couldn't have been inmates from the Kentucky prison or penitentiary because that parking lot had done been paved over. Besides, that, where the cemetery was inside the prison had already been paved over. They didn't dig the parking lot up to see, oh, wait a minute, did we cover any graves up here? Right. See, they didn't excavate. They didn't dig there. Okay. There was no reason to dig. They were put in a parking lot. All they right. done was put down the pavement. Now, for this um, transportation cabinet, they had, in 2002, they had to dig because they were putting the foundation. They had exactly. to go down in the ground to put the concrete. And, and that's when and they discovered. Exa that's when they discovered other wow. uh, bodies, other bones that were buried in the regular, in the old cemetery. Now, the old cemetery and the prison cemetery, from what we can understand, was two different cemeteries. Yeah, well, it makes sense. Like we were talking earlier and you said it wouldn't make sense to have the prison cemetery out outside the walls. Yeah. That would be a good way for them to escape. Yeah. So I agree yeah. with that. So, so uh, you know, it's to each his own. We don't know. Uh, That's right. Contrary Someone to what does. I may act like sometimes that I, <laughs> I know it all. We don't. We don't know it all. And here's a good, uh, 
here's one of those times where we don't know. Wall Hatfield very well could be buried in here mm -hmm. when they buried the rest of the bones from the other cemeteries. Yeah. Uh, I don't believe that he is. I will always believe he's in the parking lot because they had paved it over. But it's a nice thing to think that he's, this is a whole lot more peaceful. I'd like to think that he's here yeah. because this is a whole lot more beautiful place uh, for him to be at his final rest. Hopefully he's in a better place altogether, period. Well, they've got like a lot of little trails, as you can see here. And they got a little map up there to tell you where everything's at. Well, there's some people, when we pulled up here, there were some people in that blue car there that just walked out through there. That's, yeah. a, that's trails. A beautiful place up here on top of, uh, of a hill right. in Frankfurt. And, you know, we saw that on the Internet, and we knew that Wall wasn't buried here because the prison was in such a low area that it flooded, flooded. easy. Yeah. So uh, we knew he wasn't, uh, they didn't bring him up on a hill to bury him from the prison. Now, this makes more sense that maybe when they were excavating or something, they found some more of the bodies. Hands are shaking. Um, so anyway, it's a beautiful day. Yep. It's been some wonderful research. Um, once again, if, if you find something that Sheila and I are incorrect about, please, uh, you, you can email us, you can call us. You can uh, text us. Mm -hmm. uh, there's uh, several ways to get in touch with us. Because we, if we're wrong, we're wrong. We, we want to correct. Yeah. yeah. We want to know. We want to know. Uh, we don't want to put out bad information, but sometimes you have to start with what you got and investigate and just take it from there. I don't mean that our investigation's always correct. Uh, usually, they turn out that way, and that's from help with people that corrects us along the way and if they do we'll come back and do another video and give them credit of course all right Sheila you can do your thing please like subscribe and share and we'll catch you on the next one Bye. guys that's going to conclude this video on the Valentine. Uh, on Valentine Wall Hatfield mm -hmm. and on the Kentucky State Penitentiary when it was located in Frankfort Kentucky